All right, today we're going to be looking at the new Brabham 1964 BT-8. Between 1963 and 1966, there are a total of all 12 of these cars made. I wish they had the hardtop version, which was sold to the Prince Motor Company in Japan in 1964. Uh, if you look it up, it's the Brabham BT-8 SC9-64. It's probably one of the better looking ones, to be honest. It's got a hardtop on it, and it was the base for the Prince R380. So, I mean, it, I wish we had that one in the game. It looks a lot better. But this is going to be in the Vintage Le Mans series. It is originally, this is how you get the car with a 538 B rating. Um, it's overall okay in B class. Um, definitely is not the new meta for Le Mans series. And fully upgraded brings you up to Three fourths of the way through A class, um, nine, 4.9 speed, three, five braking, six acceleration. So overall, it's like a mid lower end car for A class. So we're going to be doing zero fuel, soft tires. We're not really going to throw a tune on it or anything. We're just going to see how it goes. I feel like if it had an arrow, it'd be a lot better of a vehicle, but it doesn't have any arrows, so there's that as well. It does good, pretty good for like acceleration wise. But the thing is, there's just so many other better cars in this series. The Vintage Le Mans series, it doesn't fully get upgraded to A class, so you can't really make it competitive in that and there's just better vehicles to use in both B and C so even upgrading in those it doesn't really compete I'd say it's an interesting car but would I say it's gonna be one I would grind for if I don't have a lot of time to do it I'd probably say no. Unless you really like the Vintage Le Mans series and you want to change it up. Uh, I think that's the only thing this one's really going to be useful for. I mean, it's a cool concept, interesting car, but definitely not one I would say is uh, worth your time spending on. Obviously, it could probably handle better if it had a tune on it, but not too terribly worried about that. I've tried it out in a few different things here, and it all seems to kind of get all classed by almost everything else. Not even just the meta cars. So that's pretty much it for the Bram BT-8. Um... It's definitely an interesting car, but not the car I would suggest a grinding for. Um, the other car this week that I am also putting a video on is definitely a better vehicle to grind for. Um, so this one gets a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.